Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where or when you're watching it. Excuse me, this me in me this is that take two. Mm -hmm. All right. This is me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene, and actually here in the middle of nowhere, Texas, it's afternoon. Why are you doing this in the afternoon, you might be asking. Well, I had the opportunity to work from home today, and as you know, sometimes work gets in the way of other things. So that's why I'm doing this in the afternoon. And let me just adjust this because it doesn't look exactly right. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's move it a little bit. Anyway, here we go. Perfecto. What just fell? Okay. Not important. It's Friday. We made it to the weekend. Hooray for us. Yes, we did it. I'm wearing my I Love New York Longhorns shirt. Longhorns are playing somebody this weekend. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to a pumpkin picking thing on Saturday morning with the grandkids and it's going to be fun. At least that's what I'm told. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be different. Something that I've never done before on pumpkin picking. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, you may have seen my mail call earlier or yesterday or tonight or whatever. From my buddy, Pete Hendricks, over at Hendricks Classics. A collaboration with him and Rich Man Shaving. Cosmic Gentleman. That's an, an, an interesting name, Cosmic Gentleman. Made me think of one of two songs that I could use for the, the background of the mail call. One was Steve Stevens' Atomic Playboy, which, which is the one that I did use. And the other one was... Rocket Ride by Kiss. I was torn because I'm I'm a fan of both, and I, I Steve Stevens didn't get enough love if you ask me when he left Billy Idol and then he came back to Billy Idol and whatever. So that's why I use that cosmic gentleman is what we're shaving with, and you know me, Mister Matchy Matchy. I've got we've got the aftershave and we got the trifecta on this one so pizza a great guy and that's the the pour in case you're interested less than a little bit that I used and we use the Hendrix brush Hendrix bowl look at that look at that uterus and I use the um, phantom arrow light keeping with the aerospace theme and going aerospace one step further you probably know what I'm pulling out keep it clean my Henson AL 13 mild I only have the mild, but that's fine because I like in this razor. I like it mild, and I needed a mild razor because if you take a look, I had a couple of bites yesterday. I was using a uh, a new Chevette, and my hand must have slipped or something, and it got caught. And well, you know what happens when that that happens. We take a trip to the blood bank, so. That's where we go. Let me give you a little information from Pete and Rich on Cosmic Gentleman. It's a luxurious fragrance of epic proportions that combines various scent notes to create a completely captivating and sophisticated aroma for the modern space age gentleman. Inspired by Parfums de Marley, Carlisle, this fragrance is designed to exude elegance, sophistication, and charm. Well, look, I've, I've got it all. What can I tell you? Opening with a burst of freshness, freshness, Cosmic Gentleman features top notes of green apple, nutmeg. These notes provide an uplifting opening that sets the stage for a captivating journey ahead. The heart of the fragrance, a refined blend of rose and tonka bean, takes center stage create a rich, sensual, warm combination that is sure to please. Mm -hmm. 
Vanilla and patchouli in the base, Cosmic Gentleman reveals a dark and mysterious sense of depth and complexity. Cosmic Gentleman is a fragrance that embodies sophistication and refinement. Its harmonious blend of notes creates an alluring and captivating aroma that is perfect for the modern gentleman. Whether worn during the day or a special dressed up occasion, evening occasion, Cosmic Gentleman is sure to leave a lasting impression of elegance and charm. If fragrances were a gentleman's way to travel the cosmic universe, this ticket is for to take you where you want to go. Well, let's get a sniff. Mmm, definitely hitting the green apple and the, the nutmeg. Mmm, yeah, it, it's all there. It, it smells really, really nice. Almost a, an apple pie-ish with a hint of rose and vanilla. Hmm. I might try that. See how that would turn out in an apple pie. I like pie. Don't make me go there. Anyway, I've done taking care of the two of the three S's. Let's get to the third, shall we? Let's get to shaving. First thing, always hydrate. Hydration is important. Deacon's tip number one. So we're gonna get a little bit of this cool water. I decided to use a cooler water today. And I didn't go with a, a methylated soap or anything because it's fall, right? But it's 95 degrees out. What's wrong with this picture? Let's get some of this great smelling lather. And it's got a nice, nice feel to it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Clear the lips so I can see what I'm saying. And let's start to shave, shall we? Let's see how we do. Nice feel on the soap. The Henson's doing its regular fantastic job. It's got a uh, RK blade in here that was specifically designed for Henson. And if you're looking for a Henson razor, there's a link down below. Use the link and the code and you get some nice stuff. As with a lot of the links down below, you'll see discounts and whatnot. There 
we're adding uh, Parker to our stable of uh, affiliates. Parker, Super Safety Razor, however you want to call it. But Parker is the brand of the razor, so. And a special hello to everyone that is going to be attending the, uh, the Big Pastors uh, meetup in New York City tomorrow. You know, Pete Hendricks is going to be there. Frank from Strike Gold set to make an appearance. Leandro from Pastores is going to be there. Wish I could make it, but I got family stuff. You know, pumpkin picking. I'll get there. Get back there soon. This is my fourth use on, use on this uh, this blade. My last. I, I can feel it. I'll be all right. I'll just keep everything nice and hydrated. And we'll be good. So hopefully you all have good plans for the weekend. Church on Sunday. We did our last class last week for uh, adult confirmation. No more adult CCD classes until January. Then we start doing adult confirmation again because they do that twice a year here in the Diocese of Austin. And the RCIA, Rise of Christian Initiation for Adults. I know of one person because she was in the confirmation class with us. Wanted to make sure I had the clean side. Do the reverse across, just to prove that there is some 
residual slickness with this soap as there is with all of Pete's. This base, I think this is the new base that Pete's got. Good base. I like it. And just to be sure. This is one of the few few razors that I'll go across the grain on my neck because I like like to try to keep the blood where it is or where it's supposed to be. I'd rather not pay another trip to the blood bank again today if I can help it. And it looks like we're doing a good job. And hopefully these marks will be gone by maybe tomorrow or Sunday. Second pass is done. Let's see how we did, shall we? Not bad. Not bad. Just a couple of spots. But we'll do a full pass just to be on the safe side. You know how that goes. Won't take more than a, a minute more to do that. Here we go. Gens. I saw a video today, a guy, I think his name was Charles Roberts, invented the Roberts method of wet shaving. May he rest in peace. He was out of here in Austin. Man was a, a demon in his method. I know that my buddy Sinatra Lennon was taught by him and actually shaved by him. His videos are still up, and not Sinatra Lemon, but uh, Roberts. His uh, videos are still up on YouTube. Real interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's see. 
Here we go. They're interesting to watch, to say the least. Alrighty. Third pass is done. Man, we're, we're glass. Right there, there's just a little spot. We're glass. Smooth as an Android's bottom. Let some of the water out. We'll do an extra cold water rinse. So it's, not like it's, yeah, it's not even really cold. It's back to that not as hot as the other side is. Grab the old towel. Do my Frankie dry. Now put that there. Hand dry. And the bat. That's so crazy. Towel dry. We're well, good. No cuts, no nicks, no errors. We're good with the toss. We're in. That's two in a row. Wow. I'll take that. And here we go. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the action. You're welcome. Oh, man. That's nice. That is really nice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It's got a nice feel to it. Close it up. Finishing. Oh. Ooh, that's nice. There we go. Perfect. Our shave is done. Ta da. Ta -da. Anyway, shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day. You might be doing something wrong. Banger of a scent. Banger. Cosmic Gentleman. Collab between Hendrix and Rich Man Shaving. Go grab some. And of course, got a match. Anyway, and the Henson goes with the theme. Be good to yourselves and to each other. Have a great weekend and smooth shaves. I want to see you on Monday for a trip down the river or up the river. You never know which way. Anyway, ciao for now.